trying a different camera this time. Um, that dealing with the battery on my uh, iPhone Mini is just it's not good for late night recording. Anyways, uh, we're taking a look at Phase Ten. We're just going to do an unboxing, starting with. You know, a game that probably everyone has already seen. Uh, but if you haven't, or haven't seen it in a while, because they did uh, do a refresh to some of the, to the look of things, like the, the cards, the logo, uh, and I assume um, other things in the box as well. So here, we'll take a uh, quick look around the box. Um, and I guess Phase 10 used to be owned by another company, um, but now they're owned by Mattel. Um, so I think they were, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't recall the other company's name, but it's been a few years now. Um, and I want to say that the, like, brand refresh was after they were a um, purchased by Mattel? Acquired by Mattel? I don't know. I think the other company still exists. I think they just sold the rights. Um, but there's the box. And let's just open it up. Oh, I've already torn the box. Um, I'm assuming that's how I was supposed to get into it. That side's glued pretty fully. Um, you can see there, uh, got a little ribbon around the cards. There's your phase 10, like, uh, it's got your rounds on it, the different phases. Um, also in the box, here are your... Instructions. We printed on like a CVS receipt. I like to get instructions laminated, but when they do them like this, um, kind of hard to do that with. Um, but at least it folds up nicely and fits in the box. And yeah, two of the decks of cards. They've got this, they're not covered in shrink wrap. They've just got this uh, paper band around them. Um, I think they're a little smaller than a normal like deck of cards. So let's get, just pull a card out of here and we can see size comparison um, probably makes them good for little hands uh, I know from experience I have a hard time shuffling these cards uh, the texture on these is they're just glossy thin cards they don't have a great amount of backbone they kinda keep their shape um, I perceive them as pretty cheap, but they are very affordable at the store, and you can get them everywhere. I mean, I've seen them in, like, drugstores, you know, so the availability of them and the affordability of them, I think, at least for me, the that sort of makes up for the cheapness of the product here. And especially they're for kids. Kids destroy these things, right? Like that, I think, is the primary selling point with something like Phase 10 is that these things are, um, <laughs> they're not indestructible. They are very much destructible. Hand them off to the kids. They get a little bit of use out of them. By the time they've gone off it, um, the cards are absolutely trashed. And uh, next time you just pick up a new a new deck, you know. 
Um, and I think that's how they make their money. <laughs> but I do like the... Before, they used to just have, like, the corners on the cards be the colors. Um, but I actually like this with the swoop that sort of corresponds to the the angle on the logo. Um, I like that. I think that's... I think they're simple. They're nice. I do think that likely the... I don't have that small hands, so I can't say for sure, but the, the smallness of these cards compared to a normal deck of cards, they're not extremely smaller, but they are a little smaller, so I think that's easier for, like, kids to hold and fan out. I'll put this uh, card away. But I think it's good to have that to, to reference because I think I've done a few of these now where I'm like, geez, I, I wish I had just a regular deck of cards to compare them to. Um, and I'm going to try to shuffle them. And I know from experience I am not good at shuffling especially Phase 10 cards. There's something about the just size difference that really throws it off for me. Um, and there's something about the the way they bend is a little... Um, I don't know, a little different. And I think it's like they just don't snap back enough. Um, and they're... I mean, you can kind of see they've got this bend right out of the, the box here, this little, like, arch. Um, I don't know, maybe that's what makes it harder for me to, um, to shuffle them. Maybe that gets better over time. I don't know. I, I just feel like I especially struggle with the Phase 10 decks. Especially, I cannot split this deck. I have to do like the two decks separately. I can't just shuffle the two decks together. They just, that's, I'll show you. That's not a thing my body can do. <laughs> uh, I don't know, maybe that's a function of, uh, the, you know, my own dexterity limits or, uh, the size of my fingers or my technique. I, I, I can't tell you, but it seems to especially be bad with this deck. Um, <laughs> so I find it a little comical. <laughs> I don't know if there's anyone who, who might enjoy that as much as I do. Uh, but yeah, I think, um... It's not a wonderfully built game, but I also don't like the, the cards aren't high quality. Box is not, I mean, the box barely even stood up to me opening it the very first time, right? Like, but they're everywhere, so I'm gonna forgive that a little bit, and I do enjoy the game, so, you know, uh, and I, I very much prefer the, the current artwork to the old one. Um, and anyways, that is uh, phase 10.